The Sasquatch is a real thing. It's a real living creature. It's indigenous to the mountain areas and forest areas of the United States and Northern America and also regions in Asia. Um, there are two variations. One is brown. <laughs> We're super stoked to be on Hopeless. Um, really excited to be back. It was, uh, it was quite a journey going from an independent label to a uh, major label then back. Um, and also creating a record completely unsigned. Um, I think that was probably one of the craziest hurdles we've ever had to it's, overcome. It's kind of like going away on vacation for the first time without your parents. Yeah. You know, you know, you know you're going to get laid, but it might be with a 60-year-old maid. Yes. I think... Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, 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 hermano. Hermano. Take this. I think the biggest part of it was... Uh, how it really sort of um, like sets up the entire album. Uh, it's it's definitely kind of a thematic overview of, of what's going on on the record. Uh, and the song itself is about taking that leap of faith, uh, deciding to part ways with Interscope, and then deciding to make this record unsigned, and um, you know, sort of then try to see who wanted it and see who believed in it. So um, it it kind of talks about how this band got its start and where this band is going um, and it sort of wraps that all up into one and I think it's also a really good analogy for where a lot of people are in their lives that listen to our music you know a lot of people are coming out of high school or going into college or just leaving college and having to get a real job and um, I think all those stages in life are, are very big turning points and a lot of people get lost in those phases. Also big points on the record like that's something that we sing, we sing about. Or yeah about a lot on the record. quite a bit. Man, it's been amazing. We haven't had one bad crowd the whole time. It's, it's just, just great shows, a lot of nudity, a lot of crowd surfing, a lot of mosh pits, a lot of sweat. Yeah, especially when it's been it's been as hot as it has been. Uh, there really haven't been any like comfortable days. So uh, it's it's incredible to to know that you know those kids are out there being that passionate about the music that they love and and you know hanging in there through brutal heat and disgusting level levels of body sweat it makes me think that when we come back and do clubs this fall like it's gonna be like really intense yes yeah I mean it was a really cool moment um, we we had written together before but the songs never came never really saw the light of day as far as us putting them out but um, you know, it was one of those things, we, we didn't do any co-writes on this record except for when Patrick came through the studio. He was, you know, first and foremost, I think, just interested in listening to what we'd been working on. And then, um, you know, he came in and we sat down and, and wrote this awesome song together. And, uh, you know, he, we kind of had like the skeleton of the song and he dipped out and then Mike Green and I finished it and, and made it what it is. And uh, it's actually the same song that Jason sings on from Acceptance. Um, and it's, this song is amazing because it's kind of about generations of bands and the impact that they leave on their fans um, because you know Jason played in Acceptance which is a band that kind of came and went uh, very quickly you know they and they left a, a mark they really left a mark as far as the people that they affected with the records that they put out and uh, it's sort of about your legacy and about leaving behind memories and, and creating memories for other people Yeah, it's it's we it's we've always been really collaborative with Glamour Kills. Um, they've you know they've kind of come up alongside of us, and uh, sort of you know we kind of equate it to the way you know Blink One Eighty Two worked with Hurley and Atticus and and for a long time, and um, it was really just kind of one of those things. They've created a lifestyle and a culture around the music that we make, so uh, you know we embrace that and we want to bring our fan base into that, um, and kind of you know drive everything forward. Respect. And Marky's a great dude. We we love working with Marky. Probably oh. in Jurassic Park when they're running away from the T Rex. That's so dumb. No, it's perfect. Um, maybe that scene in in Armageddon where they're flying at the meteor and they're gonna blow it up themselves. Jurassic Park. Hey, what's up? I'm Alex. I'm Jack. We are from All Time Low, and you're watching Common Revolt. Peace. Love you.